you're tuned into the first newscast devoted to the Highland Lakes area. Local team coverage on Tribune Headline News, bringing you the stories you care about now. Hello everyone, I'm Connie Swinney. You're watching Tribune Headline News. Thanks for joining us on Northland Communications Channel 15. In this broadcast, dying just got more expensive and burn it. That's if you're going to be buried in the city-owned cemetery. Details later. Also, an effort to draw a tourism train to Marble Falls picks up steam as city leaders make plans to take a closer look at a potential route. That story coming up. But first, Good Samaritans come to the rescue of a Hornet attack victim just west of Marble Falls. Former volunteer firefighter Tracy Huffman was volunteering to pick up garbage on Sunday just off Ranch Road 1980 when she picked up what she thought was a soiled paper bag. She stuck her hand in a nest instead. I was stung, I think we counted 11 times. Um, literally ran out of my boots um, from where the bees were up to 1980. Later on, crews determined the insects were hornets. It could have been worse, she believes, had she not flagged down a vehicle and found safe haven inside until emergency crews arrived. I'm sure I looked crazy running around with socks on, waving my arms in the air on 1980. But I wanted to thank them, and they left before I could get their names. So I wanted to just say thank you, and also to the uh, volunteer fire department members who came out also, and the EMS personnel. Huffman is recovering from the attack. She said she will continue her cleanup efforts, but warns others to take extra care when doing so. More on this story at dailytrib.com. Business leaders are working to get the Austin Steam Train Association, state and local officials, on board for a passenger train proposal in Marble Falls. The proposed route for a potential tourism train just might take passengers through areas like these, including Fairland Road northwest of Marble Falls. This route of tracks, managed by the Railroad Commission, is already used for transporting goods through the area, including gravel materials from nearby quarries. A proposal by Marble Falls Main Street Association leaders and restaurateurs includes allowing for a passenger train, one that just might look like this, on these tracks to bring visitors into Marble Falls. Russell Buster is one of the business leaders supporting the tourism train proposal. All the governmental entities uh, the, uh, of the city and the county, uh, as well as Austin, need to work on this and Lano County. Uh, I think the uh, Economic Development Corporation, our local EDC, could play a huge role in this. Buster operates the R Bar and Grill at the intersection of 3rd Street in Maine, as well as the Uptown Marble Theater right around the corner. He believes such a project could provide a much-needed economic boost to an ailing downtown area. It would help just by making us accessible uh, on one side and bringing people who wouldn't be here otherwise. Uh, the train attracts a lot of different interest and I think a lot of different people would therefore discover Marble Falls uh, for the tr small charms that we have. City and tourism leaders are tentatively scheduled to meet with Austin steam train officials in about a week to determine and possibly examine a proposed route into Marble Falls. The price of being put in a hole in the ground is going up in Burnett. City leaders recently raised the price of burial in the city's three cemeteries. The one you see here is just off Romberg on Cemetery Road. The previous price was $250. That price has now been doubled. Here's a look at the PicayuneTV.com weather for the Burnett and Llano County areas. Taking a look at today and Wednesday, throughout the day we have a 30% chance of rain showers, mostly cloudy with a high near 88. Mild winds for the next couple of days up to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, the rain shower chances continue with the possibility of thunderstorms before 1 a.m. going into hump day. Now, Wednesday early morning, we have a possibility of more showers and thunderstorms. Thursday's high around 87. Rain chances diminish into the evening. Your weather should be clearing up by Thursday night. That was a look at your forecast for Marble Falls, Burnett, Llano, and surrounding communities. So that means clear skies possible for these next events. It's homecoming week for Burnett. Everything from parades to bonfires are in this mix of team and community spirit. We have rundowns after the break. 
You're watching Tribune Headline News. Stay with us. A relieving hot shower, a sizzling steak, or a soul-filling home-cooked meal. A warm evening by the fire. At Bill Smith Butane, our job is to provide the fuel that makes up the comfort of your home. Call us today and fuel your life with us at a great price. Our company now proudly delivers to Burnett, Lano, and Blanco counties. Bill Smith Butane, 830-693-4383. Welcome back. More on Burnett Homecoming in a moment. But first, it's time for Headline Sports. Jennifer Fierro joins us with the latest on Burnett football and Marble Falls volleyball. Jennifer? Connie, the one thing that Burnett Bulldog fans were worried about was what kind of emotional state their football team was going to be in following the big win against Marble Falls, a team that was undefeated when they hosted Mandera on Friday night. Well, seems like they had a little bit of reason to be concerned. Burnett only put up 14 points against Bandera, a team that's yet to win a ball game. But afterwards, we had a chance to catch up with Dora Walker. Here's what he had to say. We're kind of handicapped right now with many kids we got out because of injuries and so forth. So, you know, we had to uh, put some different kids in there that hadn't, didn't have much playing experience. The defense came back out in the second half and made a few adjustments at halftime. Uh, defense came back out in the second half and did play the half of the ball game. Do you want to make mention of the fact that the Lady Mustang volleyball team ended up losing to Vandergrift on Friday night in three straight? What does that mean? Well, it definitely means that the Lady Mustangs are still on a six-game losing streak. They're still trying to find some rhythm. Had a chance to talk to head coach Julie Downs. She says that her team is just leaning some confidence right now. They are looking for that when they hit the road on Tuesday night to face powerhouse Cedar Park High School, and then they end the week at home Friday night against Cedar Park Vista Ridge. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Right after this newscast, you can catch more sports action with Friday Night Highlights. This week's episode brings you the highlights between the Marble Falls Mustangs and Bernie Champion. In our final headline, the Burnett community will be seeing green for the next few days. Burnett School's homecoming is this week and we found plenty of images to kick off the activities. Both full length and half size mums for sale at this shop just off Highway 281 at the intersection of Pecan Lane. A local car dealer will be revving up one truck's engines in support of the Burnet Bulldogs. And it's not just vehicle wraps sporting the team colors. We found flags waving at local businesses in support of the varsity football game coming up. A pep rally, parade, and bonfire are planned for Thursday night. Burnet Bulldogs go up against Gatesville Friday night. That was Tribune Headline News, where our stories are your stories. Stay tuned. Friday Night Highlights is next. Thanks for watching. I'm Connie Swinney. Northwood Healthcare Center cares about you and your loved ones. We offer long and short-term resident-centered care, as well as inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation. Northwood Healthcare Center, where family matters. From one physical game to another, that sums up the short week for the Marble Falls Mustangs in a 31-7 loss to Bernie Champion Thursday. Champion took a 17-0 lead at the half, thanks to scoring a touchdown with eight seconds left on the clock and never looked back. Well, I think we got our tails handed to us a little bit tonight, honestly. Uh, you know, we showed several glimpses of some good things on offense and defense, but we never put them together long enough to uh, be effective and get ourselves in the ball game. And uh, uh, we'll keep working at that, and uh, I'll keep trying to do a better job and make sure that uh, that happens. You know, we're, uh, we knew that uh, Knew we had a tough non-district schedule. We know these guys are good. We know it's not going to get a whole lot easier. The Mustangs received the opening kickoff of the second half and promptly scored, highlighted by junior quarterback Zed Warner's one-yard plunge into the end zone. But the Chargers answered in their opening drive of the second half and never allowed the Mustangs to get comfortable. 
they've done a they've done a great job. They do a great jobs out of that trip look and, and uh, attacking that with option and option pass, which is very difficult to defend. Uh, you know, we uh, uh, we had a lot of cushion in that. You know, and. Uh, For whatever reason, uh, you know, we'll uh, have to find a way to tighten that down. But the bottom line is, is uh, you know, they, they were able to run the ball effectively enough uh, to uh, uh, get a lot of passing game going. Defensively, Champion had at least four sacks and was usually in the right place at the right time to make key spots, even after giving up a big play. Even, even when we had some things going in, in the second half, they did a good job. We executed enough plays. We got in the end zone, uh, and we give them the ball back. And we get an opportunity to make a first down on a short yardage situation, and we don't line up. I mean, and and, and uh, uh, realistically, uh, realistically, we're going to have to start helping ourselves a little bit, and uh, and I think they'll do that. For a second week, Mustang receivers faced a zone defense. Warner said the hurdles in the passing game are the result of several things. It's a combination of things. I mean, uh, uh, we've got to have confidence that, uh, you know, we're going to have time to do that. Uh, and we're going to have to uh, uh, get the ball there when we do have time to do it. And we're going to have to catch the ball when we do get it to us. I mean, it's, it's a whole combination of things. It's not any one thing. Uh, it's just a matter of, of executing on a consistent basis. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get back on track and get better. Defensively, Marble Falls prepared for Chargers senior running back David Rogers, who is a strong runner, believing Champion wanted to establish the running game early in the hopes of making it easier to pass the ball. It's an entirely different defense uh, the first two weeks, you know, really the first three weeks because we started working on them early and uh, we were stacking, you know, eight, nine guys in the box and, and trying to stop a power run game. And, and we jumped out last week and, and went back to the stuff that uh, you have to do versus, uh, you know, the spread teams and the zone teams. And, and uh, uh, we're going to have to get back uh, get back going a little bit with that, but we can help ourselves by uh, finishing off drives and putting the ball in the end zone. Uh, that takes a lot of that pressure off the defense. The Chargers had several fumbles, one inside the Marble Falls five the Mustangs recovered. Junior defensive back Ryan Garcia also added an interception in the end zone to turn Champion away. Warner commended his team for those plays and added Champion used its quickness to get to its own loose balls. They've got great team speed. I mean, they do. They've got great team speed, and they do a good job with it. And, uh, I mean, n nothing uh, on them. They've got a good football team. The Mustangs have wrapped up their non-district schedule and prepared for the District 25-4A opener against Cedar Park Vista Ridge September 24th. Now the real season begins. These guys have got a lot of, a lot of character, and, uh, you know, they're going to have to understand that uh, – We've got uh, more than half a season left, and that uh, our ultimate goal is uh, just now starting. This is all uh, prelims for that. Bottom line is we can gripe and fuss, and we can come together as a team and have a clean slate and uh, try to win some district ball games and be on a bus on November 12th. That's our goal, and, and we're still going to try to meet it. And those are your Thursday night highlights. I'm Jennifer Fierro. It's never been easier to get the prescriptions you need. Atkins Pharmacy now has two Marble Falls locations. Visit our new store across from Walmart, open late every day. Atkins Pharmacy, keeping our community healthy.